Okay, Spanish Lament by, oh dear, here we go. Derudi Column, sorry, I just, it was a weird, when I don't recognize the name, sometimes it takes me a little bit and the light is kind of low in here. So it's Spanish Lament by the Derudi Column. Before that was Delirium um, and Sarah McLaughlin, um, song titled Silence. And again, before that, Smells Like Teen Spirit with Tori Amos. That is generally a Nirvana song, but I love her rendition of that song, so I, or her cover. So that's the reason why I did that one. But now on to Skunk Meaning. Sorry for the delay, I promised it after Tori's song. Yet, Peter and I got to talking. And, um, but anyway, skunk symbolism. It's actually really quite interesting. Um, To have a skunk as your totem signifies that you maintain a calm and collected outlook while facing life's challenges. You are self-confident and know how to correctly use your energy resources. A skunk symbolizes nonviolence, wisdom, self-awareness, patience, silence, hence the song silence, solitude, pacification, distinctiveness, valor, self-respect, humility, independence, confidence, success, attraction, and balance. The white patch on its black body symbolize, did you know that? It's not a white body with black spots, it's a black body with white spots. And it symbolizes creativity and its pungent smell suggests self-defense. You think? <laughs> I don't think that's a suggestion. I think that's, that is an assertive stance that they take. Um, Yet, yeah, the thing is with the skunk, you never see them, I, I have never seen them, I, maybe you have, I've never seen them in just more than one at a time, right? And so there is that solitude, they, they do find just by themselves. And um, when I think about, they're very serene, I mean, they just, when you think about a skunk, when you approach it, all it does is right, if, you, if it feels threatened, it just threatens you back with the wave of its tail and if you really invade its space too quickly, it doesn't do anything but spray you. That is probably one of the most peaceful ways of warding off threats, as opposed to being obnoxious and loud and um, you know, fear mongering kind of a thing. It just it just stands there in its in its in its bubble and in its sense of peace. It's just it's very calm about what it's about to do. And um, I mean, even when you look at a rattlesnake, a rattlesnake actually it, it's vibrating, right? I mean, it well it doesn't do much other than shake its tail, but it's still vibrating. It's having to let you know, make a sound where a skunk won't even make a sound. It's just very quiet and very calm. And um, I mean, you can tell there's a skunk in the area without even seeing one. So there's, there's a lot of significance to being able to make your point confidently without having to be a, 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 literally a, a force to be reckoned with. Now I, I realize that I was going, not going to say that, and I understand that sometimes that's considered a, um, a virtue to be a force to be reckoned with, but yet I don't know that there's something to be said for that calm demeanor. Um, it's almost like saying no and it's still coming across as a yes, is how I see that. Well, at any rate, like I said, tonight's, you know, it's all about the skunk because I think this time of year is the season, you know, we, you know, peace, we wish for peace. We talk of peace and yet the peace will only come on the outside of us when we have the courage to find peace within us. And that takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to shake off the stuff that's actually upsetting us and, um, and be that, and, and find that confidence, find that backbone, right? To really just go, hey, look, I know I got this, and I am not attached to the outcome. Because the skunk doesn't have to spray you. All it has to do is raise its tail. I mean, my goodness, we see a skunk and most of us will go out, we'll get away altogether because we don't want to be sprayed, period. We don't even need for it to alert, alert us. We can, we already recognize its 
the power that that skunk actually has. Imagine being that kind of human being, that you can actually have your presence be so powerful that when somebody comes up to you, they already know what to expect. And at that moment, they, get the, they have that opportunity to say yes or say no to interacting with you. It's a beautiful thing. So I say, let's all work on channeling our own inner skunk from time to time. Be a Pepe Le Pew, right? <laughs> Up next, I have a song titled, I Like to Stay Home by R. R. Stevie Moore. Yeah, I, some, I actually have some pretty cool groups coming up. So <laughs> check it out. R. Stevie Moore, I Like to Stay Home. Hey you guys, so yeah, uh, yesterday my vlog was about a long one, 30 minutes, and I told you I couldn't take you anywhere with me <laughs> to see the day of my life because sitting there watching me research isn't exactly exciting. Um, I am really happy though today. I did actually create a formula uh, for radiation therapy. Um, so that is actually coming up and that's available now. If you know of anybody who is living with cancer or going through radiation therapy, I have a beautiful nourishing blend that they can use and it doesn't cause any tissue damage. It actually um, enhances tissue regeneration, healthy tissue regeneration. So that was really excited about that, but that took a lot of research. But that said, here I am on the radio. This is what I do every Monday evening and Wednesday afternoons. Wednesday afternoons, I'm the remedial mystic. I would have started a little bit sooner, but I got to talk into my, the DJ that was on before me, so I didn't want to record that conversation. But um, just, yeah, here's what I am. I, I get, this is so much fun. Let me see my mic. And um, yeah, just to kind of give you, here's my system. It's a community radio station, so it's really cool. Um, it's a local, it's, we are on 96.9 .9 local radio. And the, we, you can actually stream us online at www.kmrd.fm backslash listen. And you can check out all of the different types of DJs. We all play a lot. And we get, the really cool thing is we get to program our own shows. So nobody tells us what we get to play. We play what we want. And like I said, my Monday evening shows are animal messages. So I select music around the, the animal for the evening and tonight's skunk. And so I have a really cool lineup. I'll read it to you because I probably won't keep you on for the rest of the hour. Um, Wandering Star by Portishead. Alone Again by Dawkin. Um, Another Rainy Night by Queens Queensryche. Where is the Love? The Black Eyed Peas. Um, <clears throat> Balance by Timaya. Get the Balance Right by Depeche Mode. Humility by the Gorillas, um, Humble Yourself by Aya, here we go again, pardon me while I just, the last song is Peace Signs by Sharon Van Etten, if you haven't heard her, check her out, I discovered her for one of my shows last week, and really highly, she's just an amazing musician, and she has found herself at the right place at the right time, her story is phenomenal, she used to work in a wine store and became a, um, started playing open mics and ended up being a publicist for a local um, recording studio and the rest is history because she has like four or five albums out now. But anyway, the um, Aya Tara is the song I was telling you about called Humble Yourself. Anyway, so that's about tonight, about humility and balance, solitude, um, calmness, but being humble because if you recognize the skunk, right? They're not arrogant at all. They're very humble animals. And um, so that's what tonight's show is all about. So that's what I do every Monday night, is just create these shows around a particular animal and talk a little bit about their messages. Don't go, don't wanna bore too many people with too many words. But um, unlike my vlogs and my other videos. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well and enjoying your evening, wherever you are or your day. Thanks for joining me. And um, sorry, there's people walking around in the studio back there, I don't know. You can't really see them. Anyway, thanks you guys, I love you. And um, I'm just red because actually I've got two sweaters on and they're just working on the heater too. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.